and welcome to episode 2 of the Visual Connect series. In the last episode, we saw the ecosystem fit of a host bus and a converged network adapter and their major advantages. In today's episode, we look at what exactly is a HBA and what exactly is a CNA. So, what exactly is a host bus adapter? A host bus adapter is an adapter card that provides connectivity from server to storage. It looks similar to what is being drawn here. A host bus adapter has ports. The ports are here and basically the number of ports decide whether it is a single port adapter, a quad port adapter or a dual port adapter. Then there is a high performance ASIC. The high performance ASIC provides IOPS and buffer credits. Then there is a PCIe interface which goes into the PCIe bus. Apart from this there are the transceivers that convert electrical to optical signals and LEDs that provide status on the functioning of the HBA. Based on form factors, the host bus adapter is divided into a stand-up adapter and a mezzanine adapter. A stand-up adapter goes into rack and tower servers while the mezzanine adapter goes into blade servers. The difference is the mezzanine adapter has a horizontal form factor that fits into the 1U width of the blade servers. Now what exactly is a CNA? A converged network adapter is a single network interface card that contains both a fiber channel host bus adapter and a TCP IP Ethernet NIC network interface card. So a NIC plus an HBA is equal to a CNA. It connects servers to FC based storage area networks and Ethernet based local area networks. The advantage is instead of having a server and two separate cards one that connects to a LAN and one that connects to a FC SAN. In a CNA, you have one card that connects to a LAN and an FC SAN, thus saving on infrastructure and cabling costs. FAQs When is a HBA used and when is a CNA used? A HBA is used primarily in a fiber channel network while a CNA is used in a TCP IP LAN to SAN network. Going forward, HBAs as 16 gig and 32 gig fiber channel technologies coming up while the CNA has 10 gigabit Ethernet and 40 gigabit Ethernet technologies come up. It will be interesting to see which of these technologies gain traction among customers. I hope this session was useful. Please stay tuned to the Visual Connect channel for further interesting 2 minute talks. Thank you.